How to fix you don't have enough system and the video memory to start the game in the last of us. Hey guys, welcome back to this new video. Let me guide by four methods that how to fix this problem. First of all, you just need to right click on your taskbar and then click on the task manager. So here what you need to do. You have to just close all of the background applications that are running while running your The Last of Us game. So for this you have to just right click on the application and then click on the end task. Repeat this process for all the unnecessary applications that are running in the background. Once you are done you have to just close this task manager and try to restart your game. Hopefully your problem will be fixed. So now let's dive to our second method. You just need to right click on your windows icon and then click on the device manager. Here click on the display adapter and expand this option and then right click on your graphic card and then click on the update driver. Now click on the search automatically for drivers and wait for the searching. Now you have to just close this window. Basically you have to just update your graphic card drivers. You can also do it through your browser. Like in case of the Nvidia graphic cards, you have to just open the GeForce Experience website and then try to update it. Similarly, in case of the AMD, you have to just open the Radeon graphic cards website and then try to update it. And in case of the Intel drivers, you have to just simply open this website and then try to update it. So once you're done, hopefully your problem will be fixed. So let's get into the third most effective method. For this, right click on your this PC and then click on the properties. Here just click on the advanced system settings and this type of the pop-up will open for you. Just click on the advanced tab and in the performance tab click on the settings. At this new pop-up window, click on the advanced tab and click on the change. And now you have to just uncheck the first option automatically manage paging file size of the all drivers and now click on the custom size and in this initial size you have to just put the size which is greater than the previous one like you have to just put here the mbs that are compatible with your system's requirement like in my case my system requirement is 4 gb so i have to just put here 4000 mbs which is equal to 4 gb and similarly the maximum size should be the 4 times of the initial size like if I have 4000 MBs of the initial size so I have to put here the 16000 MBs for my maximum size once I done click on the set and then apply and then ok so basically this is the virtual memory of your system once you done you have to just again restart your game hopefully your problem will be fixed our last and the final solution is that you have to just simply free up some space for your gameplay by deleting the unnecessary files and the folders from your C and the D drive and hopefully your problem will be fixed and you will be back to your game. I hope this video was a big help for you. For more information visit my website whose link I have shared in this video's description. Give this video a big thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel let me guide. Thanks for watching.